guys! Today I will be showing you my current hair care routine. So basically how I'm doing this is I'm focusing right now on the health of my scalp to really make sure that my hair is clean before I even apply products on my hair. Just because I noticed that if your hair is clean and it's not filled with gunk or it's not filled with products or even oils on your hair, whatever hair care products that you're using on your hair works actually way better just because your hair follicles is not being blocked by any dirt or excess oils. I'm focusing on cleansing my hair first thoroughly and then applying products on my hair because that's where I actually see more results both on hair growth and just the all over texture of my hair and how it feels like. So let's get started. Okay, so on my scalp, I will be using flaxseed gel. I will tell you and show you how I make it later and then aloe vera gel as well. And the thing that I'm going to be using to cleanse my hair before even putting any hair mask is the apple cider vinegar, lemon. I'm just gonna add a little bit of the almond oil and then I will be using lemongrass essential oil and um, lavender oil because all of these are also great for hair growth and fragrance. And after, I'm gonna be using my keratin refreshing shampoo, keratin refreshing conditioner, and the hair mask that comes with it as well. And what I like about these is that it controls hair loss, it promotes hair growth, and it has keratin, biotin, and sea kelp extract. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and pour in the apple cider vinegar. I'm just gonna bring it up to one cup of it, basically. Put that in there. All right, two cups of water, and then we'll just squeeze in lemon in there. The lemongrass and the lavender oil, so I'm just gonna put them in there. I'm just gonna put two drops, or three, <laughs> of that. And then also the lemongrass. There we go. And then a couple of drops of almond oil, just to prevent my hair from really drying out. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and mix them all together. So I put it in the spray bottle. I'm now just gonna go ahead and spray it on my scalp and all over my hair. And I think that this is the only issue when you make this is that you have to be careful not to get this in your eye because it can sting. So. Right now I'm just really focusing on having a healthy scalp because when your scalp is healthy, you're gonna have a healthy hair growth as well. And I really advise you guys that when you do this, do this in the bathroom and, and don't do it like how I'm doing it right now because it is such a mess. Okay, so while the ACV is nesting on my hair, I'm also making the flaxseed gel. But basically, you just put the flaxseed in the water and then boil it till you get the gel type consistency. All right, you guys, as you all can see, it's now thickening up. All right, you guys, so 15 minutes has passed by. I'm just gonna go ahead and take this aloe vera. I'm just going to be applying it on my scalp. And as many of you know, aloe vera is actually really great for promoting healthy scalp and hair growth as well. I'll mostly apply it on areas to where I feel a little bit of dryness and that's usually typically right here. So I'm focusing it there. Now I have my flaxseed gel right here. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this on to my hair. Actually with this, you can apply this as well on your scalp. And once again, flaxseed is actually also great for hair growth and um, healthy scalp. The only downside sometimes when you're doing DIYs is just that they don't really have a nice scent to them. I still use hair care products that has a nice scent to them. So what I'm going to be doing with this is I'm gonna leave this on my hair for about 30 minutes. So I'm just gonna take it off, wash it off with water first, and then go ahead with the shampoo. All right, now that's done, I'm going to be using, as I've said, my keratin refreshing shampoo. It has keratin, biotin, and sea kelp extract, and this is ideal for hair that's prone to shedding, and it controls hair loss and promotes hair growth. So, and I like that the shampoo is actually clear. Also, this time, you guys, I'm actually gonna apply this all over my hair. So just also to get rid of the smell of the ACV. So yeah, because I would consider this as a second cleanse already on my hair. <laughs> All right, now that's done, I'm just gonna go ahead and wash it off and then put in the hair mask and then the conditioner. All right, now that it's fully rinsed off, I'm gonna go ahead and use my keratin refreshing hair mask 
and this has pomegranate extract and argan oil. I'm gonna use that much and actually even more later so I actually really like these types of hair masks that Keratin has because it really just it's um, one of those thick hair masks if your hair needs intense moisturizing and conditioning it can really help with that all right so now I'm just gonna leave this on my hair for about two to three minutes and then afterwards use the conditioner all right, so now lastly, I'm going to be using the conditioner. It has here avocado oil and aloe barbadensis. This is actually good for hydrating and for hair loss as well. Okay guys, so now that's done, I'm just going to go ahead and leave it again for two to three minutes and then just wash it off and as usual, air dry my hair. So. Okay guys, so this is what my hair looks like right now after I just wash it off. The oil that I'm using, of course, is my Keratin Nourishing Hair Oil. And I think you guys have seen me using this so many times, so I'm almost out already. Ah. But this oil is really great not only for um, the bottom part of my hair, but also for your scalp and for your skin. So it's very versatile. So what I typically do is I just use a few drops of it, and then I go ahead and apply it on my ends because typically this is the part that gets dry really fast and whatever left over on my hands I just go ahead and apply that onto my hair I actually avoid um, putting oils on my bangs because for some reason right now my bangs get really or like this one my bangs get oily really fast so I was like you know what Let's not do that. And I'm just gonna go ahead and use my Mason Pearson brush to distribute, to properly distribute the oils um, from the top part to the bottom part of my hair. And also what I do like about this brush is that it makes your hair feel super soft and smooth after you brush it. So... That's the only thing right now because you guys couldn't really see my um, full length. Probably I will do another hair length update video before I get a trim, but yeah. But yeah, I really do like the result um, whenever I do this hair care routine because my hair feels very light and clean and also I know that um, my problem right now is just the dryness on my scalp, you know, so that's exactly why um, I did this hair care routine. I really like how my hair feels super soft and smooth as well. I know I always say that a lot, but this hair care routine makes my hair instantly more, you know, in a way relaxed and more straight. So that's it you guys. I hope you all like this hair care routine and if you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Also, if you all are interested in the hair care products that I've been using in this video, I'm going to be linking it in the description box down below so you guys can check that out and I will see you on my next one. Bye!